So ladies and gentlemen, what we're seeking to do in this example is to find the volume. Now remember, to find the volume, what we had is when somebody stole my calculator. Um, the, uh, the ver the, if you guys remember, the area of volume, or the, far, the formula for volume, was base times height, where the big B represented, very good, the big B represents the area of the base. You have to be very careful when we're dealing with a volume. That's what air, the big B represents, the area of the base. Now again, when we're dealing with a prism, this is a triangular prism. We don't want to use the base of this rectangle because it is not multiplied twice, right? It doesn't continue on. So I want to make sure that the base, remember when you're looking at a prism, the base is the same as the top. So I want to relook at this and think of it as a figure that would look like this, right? So if I were to turn it on its side, so this front would be the base, I would see that the base and the top are exactly the same. OK, Dominic? So now I just need to find the area of this base and multiply it by the height. So the area of this triangle, since it's a triangular prism, is 1 half base times height. Area represents that. Base times height, 4 times 6 is 24, times 1 half equals 12. So the area, so big B, is 12, because that's the area of the base. Now I just need to multiply 12 times 9, which is my height. Because if I were to turn this figure with this being its base, that would be the height, which would be 9. So 12 times 9 would be 120, so it would be uh, 108. And then it's centimeters squared since we're dealing, oh, I'm sorry, this is volume um, cubed. OK, that's it for that.